Good morning everybody. For those of you that know me, hi year three, this is your favourite teacher Miss Newberger. For those of you that don't, I am a year three teacher here in Tunbridge Wells. I teach across all subjects but have a particular enthusiasm for maths. So I'm here to help you as much as possible with your home learning. Uh, I have expertise across mostly year three and four but I can certainly help with maths lower or higher up the primary age range. Uh, so do call upon me should you need me. Now my first video is going to be a little bit rusty because I'm not, I'm not used to filming my teaching but I'm going to give it a go and uh, this first video also is using um, bits and pieces that I've just found around the house because uh, that's what I have available at the moment but I've also ordered hopefully it'll come through some bits and pieces that over time will hopefully make these recordings a little bit more professional and a little bit easier to follow but we'll go with what we've got for now and we will see where we end up now to make it easier for you and for me I've gone back to basics with year three maths. So we're going to start with something that my year threes know I bang on about an awful lot, comes up time and time again with all kinds of things you're working with, and that is place value. Okay, now what I have drawn down this side here is a visual representation of something we use in school called Dean's Blocks. Your children will be familiar with these, they will have used them from a young age, where they will be asked to make numbers, either two or three digit numbers, and when I refer to digits, I am referring to any number, you can see here I've drawn myself a hundreds, tens and ones column, and any number that falls in those columns can be referred to as a digit. So, in order to represent different digits, or different digit values I should say, you need different representations. So ones are normally represented by tiny little cubes, your tens are usually represented by a stick, and your hundreds are normally represented by a 3D cube, but to make the drawing simpler, I've drawn it as a square. Okay, and children need to understand place value really before they go any further, before they understand anything else. Now this is something that your children can probably already tell you a lot about, so I'm treating this session very much as a recap for them. So here we go. So what I have drawn here, whoop, what I have drawn here is a typical question that would come up for children uh, when talking about place value, when talking about, about dreaded word tests, um, and it's something that if they understand, then going forward, things like addition and subtraction become much easier. Working with all kinds of different things, measure, money, it all becomes a much easier concept to follow. So what I've drawn here is I've got, oops, wrong hand. I've got a tens and ones column drawn out and I've written the number 31, okay? And what I have asked children to work out is what is the value so how much is that digit worth? What is the value of that three? Okay, now chances are most children will be able to tell you, oh, that's worth, wrong hand again, Miss Newberger, that's worth three tens or 30. Okay, now I've drawn it to help me out. So I know that I'm looking at my tens column. I know how to represent tens with those sticks. I need three tens. Three of those tens is going to equal 30. Dead easy, right? Not too hard at all. Okay, then down at the bottom here, ooh, down here, I have drawn another question and it asks you the value of the seven. Now I can see that that seven is in the ones column, so I've drawn myself seven little ones. If I count those up, I know that the value of that seven is seven. It is no trickier than that. Okay, when it gets a little bit harder, is when we start looking at the, including the hundreds columns you can see over here. Now, as you can see, I've drawn myself my place value columns again, um, where I've got hundreds, tens, and ones this time. And the question this time is, what is the value of that two? 
So I know that if I've got two hundreds in my hundreds column, if I draw myself two squares, each of those squares represents 100, so the value of that 2 is 200. Easy stuff, right? I know parents are thinking, gosh, and I've, I'm, I'm learning so much. <laughs> so, moving on uh, to the next question, which is, I need to move this hand, what is the value of the 9 in 793? Even when you say these numbers to yourself, you can get a rough idea of what you think the value might be. So encourage your children as well to make sure that they can say these numbers to you. It's very, very important. So 793, even without drawing out those Dean's examples, drawing out that visual example, what do you think that nine is worth? What do you think the value of that nine is? It's 90. Good stuff. Now, I don't think I need to tell you to do any more on this, but what I am going to do is flash you a few examples that you can have a go at yourself and just to make sure that you understand place value really, really well. So here we go. You can see it says your turn at the top. So that first question, you've got the number 97 and it's asking you for the value of that seven. What is the value of that seven? If you need to draw out your Dean's blocks, go ahead, draw them out on a piece of paper. Excellent. And you should have the answer of seven. Nice and easy, good stuff. Okay, moving on to the next question, which is still being covered by my hand. What is the value of that three in the number 33? Again, say it to yourself, 33. What do you think it could be worth? That number in the tens column in the number 33. Just by saying it to yourself, it gives you a big, big hint. And if you got the answer of 30, fantastic stuff. Exactly what I'm after. Okay, making it a little bit trickier, going to our three digit. Okay, you've got what is the value of that six in 672? Again, say it to yourself. Draw out those deans if you need to. 672, what is the value of that six? If you're busy jumping up and down saying 600, Miss Newberger, this is easy peasy. Great, fantastic stuff. Final question for you. You've got 481 there. What is the value of that one in 481? One. Again, say it to yourself. Do any drawings you need to. In maths, it's very, very important. Jottings, working things out, writing things down. Even if you're doing things in your head, um, it's vital that you write things down. Because just because you're doing something in your head doesn't mean you aren't writing stuff down as well. It's very, very important. So, what is the value of that? one. It's one. Good. Great stuff. Okay. Uh, I hope this quick recap video has been helpful. I'm planning on a few more of these, certainly to demonstrate things that you might find a little bit harder, but I just wanted to see how this works and how we can get on with, with more videos and hopefully they'll be a little bit less rustic than this one. But in the meantime, children, be good. Be kind to each other, be kind to your parents and work hard.